What's up guys, welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. I have been building and building and building and I say this in every single episode. I've also said it before that I have said it in another episode, so now I'm just starting to go completely insane as you can clearly tell. I have been building for two days straight and no, this is not the only outcome that has resulted in two days of building straight in Scrap Mechanic. I have not slept very much, so that's also why I'm uploading so late. I'm sorry, but these things take time. However, the end result is absolutely amazing and I want to show you guys this right away but it's going to be the last thing so I'm going to rush through the first three things and the first thing is a very very simple dumpster there's not really much to tell here these are just here for cosmetic purposes only and uh, I have sort of made this because I want to start a construction zone in a way also we are in a new world I just want to clarify that we are in a new world uh, I'm, I'm still gonna you know touch up all the other worlds that I make in case you guys want me to correct something in it but for now I have been starting to work in on new world this thing is taken a step further however i also consider this one to be quite a failure and i'm sad to say that so what i mean by failure is that you have to open both doors at the same time and even then it's really really hard to get out um i think that okay well maybe not anymore okay i i didn't know that i should actually just walk out because before then i actually tried to crouch and then i would be yeah see that now i'm stuck what i would have to do before is to of course equip the lift here and then just put the machine on the ground so that i could get out that's basically the only way that that would ever be able to work and there we go so i just want to go ahead and test that again and see if i can just go out okay so i can't go to the right now anymore um okay that, that was kind of weird. I turned around, walked forward so that I would technically be walking backwards. And then I turned around again and then it just popped out. This is a little bit weird, but uh, then again, I mean, the roof is really, really low. That's sort of why I'm getting stuck. And I would also have a little glitch where I would be pushed out like incredibly far for no reason at all. And two more things is that you, of course, can lift the forklift in the front. And that, oh, okay, right. So that was not supposed to happen. Let me just, uh, let me just, um, uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm always stuck in this thing. Well, how about I just lift it up? Yep, there we go. And we are now free. And the second thing, which is not really that much of a functionality thing, is just that there are two engines here and only one of them are hooked up to the wheels. All right, so let's get out of the construction zone for now. And right behind this sign is the thing, like the fourth thing that we're going to have to take a look at. You guys will probably see it in the thumbnail and also in the title, but I want to show it off last. So I want to go to the swamp because in the swamp, something is hiding down here and i think that you can already see what it is that is the next animal vehicle i'd approach with caution now you can never be too careful ah he seems pretty tame this is the alligator uh i still haven't gotten to the sheep yet but that's going to be the next one i'm sorry for not getting that done but i hope that the final thing that you're going to see today is going to make up for all of that and instead of making a drive-in alligator i made a walk-in alligator but uh, as you can see it's having a little bit of trouble walking that's because if you leave it on an uneven terrain for this for too long then eventually the bearings are going to slide to a position where they're pretty much out of sync and you will not be able to walk onto the lift you go and let's get you into a nice grassy field over here i believe that's also a little bit nicer than the swamp so let's put you down there and let's remove it and let's check out some other functionality all right so first of all the walking that's simply done by an electric engine and yeah connected to eight bearings so there's basically two below him yeah two two <laughs> two engines down there so the turning is made by the suspension glitch i absolutely love that thing and i hope they never fix it uh but i've also taken it a step further with the design because the tail actually waggles with the way that you're supposed to turn so little detail and of course you can press one to open and close the jaw so that you can still eat some stuff i don't really know what the hell you're supposed to eat but uh, yeah let's just turn the other way so i don't really know if there's that much else to be said other than the fact that this guy looks like he hasn't slept in like four weeks which is pretty much also how i feel about now but the one thing that i couldn't come up with is the name like alex the alligator i don't know but uh, you guys are gonna have to uh, let me know in the comments below for now however i want to move on to the main attraction and guys I'm super proud. I'm gonna walk over there right now and I'm gonna try not to spoil it. Okay, yeah, the sign is still there. I mean, obviously the sign is there, but it's just covering it. Anyways, um, I want to say that this is the first time since the sky base that I've actually felt proud of something that I built because I think that some of you guys also know this feeling when you play Scrap Mechanic or any other building game like for instance Besiege as well is that you work on a technology and you're not quite sure it's actually gonna work but you believe you believe with all of your heart and 
when it comes together and when it works in the way that it does, it is absolutely amazing. I know I say the word amazing a hundred fucking times in every single episode. Sorry for cursing, but it's 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 one of those things that has taken so long and has driven me so tired. And to see all that effort come into one. No, I'm not talking about the dumpster here. Uh, but to see everything accumulate into one thing that's just working absolutely perfectly is is such a good feeling guys i present to you uh let me get over there hang on okay let me get over there also there's danger signs and there's warning signs i'm seriously i'm out of breath right now just because of this guys this is a fully functional crane yes fully functional crane and i'm gonna show you how it works right now all right let's get up here so there's a few stairs first and as you can see i haven't really focused on any railing here and i also got tired of the stairs so i built a scissor elevator and i believe that this thing is also going to go down yeah, a little bit of detail in there yeah this is going to go down on its own so it has that auto closing thing but again for the purpose of all the bearings and the physics i'm going to shut this thing down because there's a lot of stuff going on up here i'm seriously out of breath because i'm i'm, I'm just so nervous as to what you guys think of this in a way i gotta be honest but i i feel like this is working absolutely perfectly incredibly well and i just want to show you guys what this thing can do so this is basically yeah, a working crane with a chain that's linked up to it. And over here, you can reel in the chain, allowing you to basically move this thing up and down. I want to show you exactly how many bearings are on this thing, because this is this is something that took a while. And the weight limit is really an enemy here. But here are all the bearings. <laughs> so I have made a giant chain and it works absolutely incredibly oh here i am i'm in the cabin and this auto closes which is good so we have of course darius hello how are you doing today i hope you're doing splendidly and here guys is the crane um i <laughs> i just gotta take a second because this this is something that i have tweaked a lot around with and i have built a few concepts of it but this is the final thing. It, it, it may not be the completely final thing. We're, we're still going to be able to tweak some things, but this is a crown achievement for me. It may be a little bit wonky with the placement of the wheels, but it's stable and it works, and that's what's most important. Yeah, that right there. That is the claw, and you can open and close that to your liking, which is such a nice detail. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't work because that the braces weren't automated or the bearings weren't automated, but uh, that does not make any difference. Why would it? So you can close that. Yes, that's all well and good, but then you can also turn the crane. And uh, as of right now, it's attached to the steering wheel on a single bearing. So there's a lot of weight on that single bearing and you can only move it that far. But then again, you can also go the other way. So you have double that range basically, right? So of course you can reel in and reel out the chain. This is where it gets exciting because that was what I was really afraid of wouldn't actually work. But it seems to me that it is working absolutely flawlessly, as you can see. It's just feeding it out. And that is sort of the main point to where you can get it from. So you have to reel it back in. And I may need to inverse the controls because right now W is reeling it in in the natural way. And as you can see, it has absolutely no problems. I may actually try to expand the chain because if I unreal this thing completely, then it's only going halfway down to the ground. And I want to be able to grab some things down there as well. There it is. That is the, oh, okay, maybe not too far. And the problem with these things in general was that it wouldn't actually be able to unreal it perfectly, but this one does it so well. And I have no clue how, but I hope that it's the placement of the outer wheels, basically, and also the inner wheels, like in the middle to, yeah, so, sort of stabilize it all around. Oh, yeah, and I think I messed something up out here because I reeled it in too far. So I'm just going to try to correct that i feel like i can just do that with the hammer that's at least what i'm hoping here and uh again the frame rate i mean jesus well what's happening okay all right i'm back now so this thing is still stuck but i want to add a little bit more weight so that hopefully this thing will be pulled down yes there we go amazing so that's just what you need to do in case that this thing gets stuck but you don't want to pull it in too far all right so once again the crane is back and uh jesus i mean i i am so proud of myself i am i am so proud because this has finally worked and i tweaked it around a lot and i tried some different concepts this is what ended up working the best also because there's a little lockout here 
on the end and I found that the chain was actually a little bit in danger of sliding off once I was turning the crane like this but that little wooden part out here is preventing that and also I built the chain of wood because that's much lighter than metal and the weight is definitely still an issue with this thing I believe it is still tilting a little bit and I'm just going below it here so that you can see something extra this is controlled on one and three to go left and right but uh, it doesn't work because there's no grip oh, okay camera got weird because it's two separate creations okay but uh, this is a little bit strange because they don't actually have the grip just like the elevator that you guys told me about in the first base that we made this is more or less a stabilization system and just in case it tilts in a way then I believe that the wheels will grip it and you can still sort of control it and notch it back I haven't tested it yet I haven't had the need to but yeah this this is basically the crane and I am super super excited for this once again try it out there's a link in the description to uh, to this world here so that you can just go ahead and download that if you wish uh, I'm not too sure if it can run it on all PCs but give it a shot I mean the worst thing that happens is that it crashes, right? So what I'm going to do now is make the sixth backup of this save file. And I'm going to make another link on this chain. Actually, a lot of links on this chain. So that we may actually be able to go all the way down to the ground. Uh, once again, the weight limit is sort of depending on one bearing only but that is where all the other wheels down here come into play and god i can't even see that correctly okay there we go there they are so yeah back up time and i will be right back okay so i don't know how many links i've added and these are still kind of wooden because yeah i didn't bother to paint them i just kind of want to see if the functionality is there if not then i'm gonna remove them but now comes the real test because this is also where the weight limit is sort of affected a lot that's by this Oh, I don't know. We're dropping below 30 frames per second here, guys. I, I'm not too sure. Yeah, as you can see, that chain is also wobbly right now. Maybe I've actually put on too many. Yeah, I think I'm going to remove a few. All right, so that was uh, too removed, I think. So, yeah, now that is just above the ground. And once again, I have to actually key map these things because that was separated, so it doesn't save the key mapping. And that's fine, but hey, hey, hey. Hey, why is it wobbly? Okay, maybe I should have... <laughs> Jesus... Oh my god, that's that's just being stretched out completely up there. Yeah, that is not gonna happen, guys. The weight limit is still an enemy. I'm gonna go back to the original backup. Yeah, lots and lots of backups in this game, but uh, you know what? It, it's all worth it. There are so many fucking things that you can build in this game. Once again, sorry for cursing, but there are so many things that you can build, and the fact that this also works in, like, I didn't think that this would work. Okay, I had no clue, but I just, I was praying and I believed. I believed. I love the little detail of you being able to open this. I would actually kind of have it spread out a little bit like this and then close a little bit in, but not close completely so that you maybe actually would be able to grab some stuff. That would be pretty cool as well. But if you guys want to try this on your own, then there's a link to it in the description via a Dropbox link that I'm also going to shorten. So yeah, that's it. So you can go ahead and download it in the description below. But until next time, guys, thank you everybody so much for checking out my crane. This is... A giant project that has finally come true for me and I am so happy the way that this turned out. Let me know if you guys are too. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed The Crane and I will see you in the next one. Peace.